Population control became a euphemism for eugenics more than 50 years ago. Now, on the anniversary of the founding of the notorious Rockefeller Commission, U.S. pro-life leaders are calling for a change. Church Militant's Kim Tizer explains how they're calling for America to go in a new direction. The representatives of more than 30 pro-life organizations signed on Sunday the Declaration on a New American Future. This year's the 50th anniversary of Richard Nixon's Commission on Population Growth commonly called the Rockefeller Commission. The new pro-life declaration rejects core policies on respect for human life promoted by the Rockefeller Commission and the apocalyptic tone and content of its warnings about a bleak and heartless human future. The signers are calling for the end of Roe v. Wade, ceasing taxpayer funding of abortions, acknowledgement that abortion contributed to sharply declining birth rates worldwide, and the recognition that God is the source of both our rights and our blessings. The declaration notes the Rockefeller Commission indicated a profound shift in the relationship between government and people. The pro-lifers believe the government became an overseer dedicated to its own designs for and limits on the populace unbound by any duty to respect the sanctity of human life or the sanctuary of the family and other private institutions. In 1968, the population bomb was published, a book claiming the world would soon become overpopulated if something drastic wasn't done. But after the slaughter of more than 63 million babies, the U.S. only finds itself worse off. Kim Tizer, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. The commission was headed by eugenicist and billionaire John D. Rockefeller III. He founded the Population Council in 1952 with the aim of promoting abortion, contraception, and sex ed, all to reduce the American population. Church Militant produced one of our faith-based investigations, or FBI's, report, report that a number of years back entitled the Rockefeller Foundation you can find that free on churchmilitant.com.